Moment of truth. What is this? This is a uh, Odin Kirk Field style <laughs> Asian inspired northern snakehead. That was delightful, dude. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go. Fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. I did it because I knew I'd be messing with the knife. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we just got done. The first day of snakehead fishing went pretty well. Fish on. Snakehead. Pretty good one, I think. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. He's not happy. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, we were obviously we were hoping to catch more, but uh, we each got one. I got a decent one. So we kept two of them, and now we're going to clean them up. John's actually going to clean them up, show us how he does that, and then later we're going to cook them up one or maybe two different ways. He wants some. Look at this. <laughs> what is that? You can see their mouth, dude. That is just nothing but bone in there. Stray bone makes them super hard to hook. That's why we're missing some of these, most of these blow ups. Yeah. They've got some wicked teeth. So there you can see the teeth. They're kind of recessed inside the mouth. Gnarly fish. Look at the slime when you lift that guy up. <laughs> oh yeah. Slimy critters. So you find these just like normal fish? I do. These things are just nothing but muscle. I mean, the, the meat starts from here and all the way down to here. Just try to find wherever the, wherever the backbone is. So there's a big bone right here that I'm trying to go around. So straight down the backbone. Yep. And they're not bony at all. If you do it right. We're going to see if I do it right. I mean, look how pretty that freaking yeah. meat is. It's gorgeous. Nice white meat. It's absolutely gorgeous. People always ask me, like, you know, what they taste like. And it, it's just the sweetest meat you've ever had, you know? If you've ever had crappie, but you're talking about like a four or five pound fillet. Right. And this is the hardest part. Come on, John. Don't mess no me. pressure. <laughs> he said I was just with a camera in my face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what could go wrong? Nothing. <laughs> I've got the knife pointed the right way. So. <laughs> That's a good start. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. It's a gorgeous fillet. Just the prettiest. There's no oil. There's no blue. Beautiful. Just a gorgeous fish. Let's see what he was eating. Yeah. Let's get in Let's here. Check out the stomach content. See what we find. There's a fish in here. There's a fish? There's a fish. I thought I felt something in it. Yeah. Yep. There's a fish in here. You got a fish in the stomach. Uh, viewer discretion is advised. If it's a baby duck, we're about to go viral. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is his last meal. His last meal. And it's a little sunfish, it looks like. Oh my god, it's alive. No, I'm just kidding. If it was alive, I would lose it. Look at that. Well, it's last meal. It's a little sunfish. You want to do a little inception where we see what the no, sunfish's no. last meal was? <laughs> Too far, bro. Too far. Good dog, sir. All right, well, John here diddles this <laughs> snakehead corpse. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the four fillets done. Next up, we'll be cooking these bad boys up. I'm excited to try these fish for nothing but good things. John said it's kind of like crappie, which many regard as one of the best tasting freshwater fish on the planet. Should be good. All right, guys, so we just got done fishing for Northern Snakehead, my first time chasing these fish. And now John and I are back here at the trailer and we're gonna cook up a couple of these fillets that we kept. I just got off the phone with John Odenkirk, who's a biologist that we're gonna be going on a shocking trip with in a couple days. We're gonna learn all about the species, see how they conduct research on this invasive species, and kind of try to get to the bottom of this whole witch hunt for exterminating these species that came from Russia, China, and Korea. And because they came from China and Korea and Asia, we're gonna do kind of an Asian inspired theme for cooking up these snakehead. So John Odenkirk gave me a killer recipe for how he likes to cook them up. I'm putting my own spin on it. He likes to steam the fish. I'm gonna go ahead and grill the fish because I hear the meat holds up incredibly well to the grill. But before we do this kind of Asian inspired dish, first, 
we're gonna cook some up on the grill with just simple salt and pepper to really get a feel and a taste for what this fish is like. So charcoal is definitely more of a pain in the butt, but I prefer charcoal when I'm grilling, whenever I've got the time to do it. I'm also using a fish basket to protect the filet. Now, John Odenkirk said that these filets are very firm, very tough, and you can throw them directly on the grill and really cook them like a steak. But I'm gonna go ahead and use a fish basket. I've got it, and that way I can make sure it doesn't fall apart on me. All right guys, coals are hot. Time to put this salt and pepper snake head down, get the true taste of this fish. I hear it's delicious. Cover it up. Steam that bad boy. Oh yeah, it's looking done. It looks good. Time to dig in? I'm gonna let you go first, dude. I'm excited to try these things, man. No, no, here. I'll grab a Are you piece. gonna feed me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could. There you go. Not on you camera. Sure? Not on camera. <laughs> Grab your own fork. <laughs> I thought you were food. Yeah. All right. What do you think? Do you want to like go around the arms? Yeah. <laughs> that's dude. That's awesome. Let's cheers, cheers, bro. Nice. Northern snakehead. Northern snakehead. Salt and pepper on the grill. I mean, dude. Yeah. It just don't taste like fish. It I don't know what it. Is. I mean, no fishy taste at all. Yeah. Super firm. I like it. It's firm and still flaky, but it's not tough or chewy. You know, a lot of times a firm fish ends up being kind of chewy. Perfect, dude. Yeah. That's why they say, like, you cannot mess this up. I mean, you really have to try hard to, to mess it up. Just super clean, super white meat. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Super white, super flaky. It's tough. It kind of maintains itself. It's not falling apart as soon as, as soon as we took it off the grill. Just salt and pepper. It's really mild flavor too. Like I already can tell this is gonna do well in the Asian dish because it's not a very like overpowering flavor. Some fish really have like a strong, sometimes even fishy flavor, but uh, dude, that's delightful. It has that steak kind of texture, you know, that there's some sustenance there. I don't know, it's weird. It's amazing. Almost like scallops, the texture. Like it's got that kind of firm bite to it. It's Scall scallops cooked well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. You're absolutely right, yeah. I could eat this all day. Got you this decal, remember the Don. And this is from a um, buddy of mine makes these, and we will put his link in the comments if you want it, but it's freedom of- uh, Nice, Freedom dude. snake head, dude. Nice. Not everybody gets those. You gotta catch your first one. Gotta catch those. your first northern snake head. But really, that's not true. I'll put a link down in the description where you can get these. That's slick, dude. Yeah. yeah um, I think I know exactly where I'm gonna put that guy. That's awesome, dude. Right on. I appreciate that. Cheers. You did good, man. Shiner is optional, but highly recommend some kind of <laughs> beverage with your fish. It's been a while since I've had this. This is I'm bringing Texas here to Virginia. Shiner, <laughs> Texas. Shiner Bog beer. If you're unfamiliar, get familiar. It's kind of like the fish. It's, it's clean tasting. It's clean, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Shiner Bog and Snakehead have a lot in common. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, when, when are we going to see a Shiner Bog uh, sticker on your trailer? <laughs> Shiner, <laughs> if you're looking for pro staffers, hit me up. Uh -huh. Damn, it's clean fish. So good, dude. Mm -hmm. So for this Asian-inspired snakehead dish, we're gonna go super simple, just fish on top of some rice. And for the fish, we're just gonna make a pretty simple marinade, let it sit there for a couple hours, even better if you've got time, let it sit overnight, and then we're gonna throw it directly on the grill. Odenkirk said that this fish holds up perfectly to direct heat, and it should be delightful. So for the marinade, we're gonna be going with reduced sodium soy sauce is kind of the, the base of this marinade. Now, I like to go with reduced sodium because it allows me to control the amount of salt in the dish, and I can add more soy sauce, more soy flavor, without adding a bunch more salt, and I can always add salt if I need it. Then to that, we're gonna add sesame seed oil, a little bit of salt, black pepper, about a teaspoon of chili garlic sauce, we're gonna add some chopped up cilantro to that and some fresh green onions both in the marinade and also as a garnish on top of the fish when we get done. And then lastly, some minced garlic and I personally kinda like to cheat. I don't like to chop up garlic so we just bought some pre-minced, much easier, but if you wanna use fresh garlic, more power to you. Once you've got the marinade kinda mixed up, obviously it's time for the snakehead fillets. I'm gonna put it in this Tupperware, kinda shake it around, make sure the fish is nice and submerged, and then we're just gonna hang out, let it soak for a couple hours. This is gonna be the best film. I was thinking as you put the top down, and then you make your right, entrance. Right, 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 right. My name's Robert Fields. <laughs> this is 
I already know this is gonna be the best filmed catch and cook video I've ever done. Thanks to John's help here. Normally I'm kind of doing this by myself, trying to like figure it out. And uh, it's nice having a little help. You guys don't see the behind the scenes of what it's like to film this. Yeah. Uh -huh. But cooking fish and trying to film every step, it's a huge pain. Huge. Huge. It's going to be huge. Yeah. Thanks for your help, for real. Dude, thank you. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now it's time for the real dish, Odenkirk's recipe. Try this Asian-inspired northern snakehead. All right, so Odenkirk said throw these straight on the grill, and now Jonathan's telling me you can do it straight on the grill. It's gonna hold up, so I'm gonna take their word for it. See how it holds up. Spray this down. Oh yeah. It smells amazing already. Give it a few minutes, probably five minutes on each side. Not very long, we'll kind of keep an eye on it. It's gonna be good, it smells amazing already. All right, should be ready to flip. So these hold up. Oh yeah. Oh God, that was operator error. You did Dude, good, it man. held up pretty well considering yeah. uh, screwed that up. Looking done. Oh yeah. Oh, look at it holding up. Nice. Looks solid. Good to top, top this on some rice, a little fresh green onions, a little cilantro. It's gonna be good. And we put the chili paste in there, but if you like a little extra kick like I do, a little sriracha to top it off, never hurts. Moment of truth. What is this? This is a uh, Odin Kirk Field style <laughs> Asian inspired Northern snakehead. Ah, Field Odenkirk. Field Odenkirk. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, that's all you have to say. Yeah, yeah. Find in your local uh, Kroger. That is delightful, dude. So, little secret. We thought oh, we God. ever cooked the heck out of that. We didn't. It's perfect. Yeah, I'm not kidding. We, we did we it. We were dude. joking off camera about how I overcooked it because we were talking about filming and, and YouTube. We kind of forgot about it, and uh, it turned out amazing, man. Uh, that sesame oil kind of soaks into the fish, so it's not a super oily fish. Really, really mild texture, mild flavor, but that sesame oil kind of gives it a little juiciness to it. Soy sauce, it wasn't overpowering. I really like the reduced sodium so that you don't just kill it with salt, trying to add more flavor. A little bit of heat from the chili paste. I was honestly going to make fun of you when I heard your first sodium comment, but as I thought about it, it actually makes a ton of sense. You're right. Delicious. You're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, that's a good call on the sodium. I dig that. Man. Cilantro and the, and the fresh green onions kind of give it that freshness that, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's a common saying that you eat with your eyes before you eat with your mouth. Yeah. And just, it just it's prettier on the plate with that splash of green. So I think tomorrow when we go out with Odenkirk, he's going to be killing all of them for his research, right? He'll probably give you a bunch of fillets. I bet you, if you guys the next couple of you see Robert on the road, hit him up for some fillets. He's probably, he might have a whole bunch. I'm going to be in Snakehead for days. <laughs> Snakehead for days. Yeah, so in tomorrow's uh, research trip with John Odenkirk, he's going to be harvesting all the snakehead that we shock up so that he can inspect their organs he can date the fish age the fish obviously waste not want not the fillets got to go to someone so i'm hoping i walk away with there with a few more fillets <laughs> this is amazing it really is good that is yeah. dynamite yeah what's funny got is just enough heat talking about going to go get dinner after this no way like this is this is dinner this is an awesome Thank dinner. You. yeah your rice is phenomenal by the way i grew up myself yep. it did not come from uncle ben's Uncle Ben's had nothing to do with this rice. <laughs> but Uncle Ben, if you're looking for pro staff, <laughs> hit me up. <laughs> that's phenomenal, man. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Field Trips. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a little something about Snakehead. So next up, next episode, we're going to be going out with John Odenkirk. On a shocking trip, we're going to learn how biologists study fish, how this northern snakehead has been impacting the local fishery here on the Potomac River. Going to learn a little bit of something about just invasive species in general. This guy is super knowledgeable. He's kind of a local celebrity in the snakehead world. Should be really cool. And then after that, we're going to go back out with Haley, try to catch some more snakehead, and hopefully 
some bigger snakehead. So guys, Jonathan Levitt here. He's been asking me to come up here and fish these fish for like three years now. Good buddy of mine. I'm glad to finally get up here and get it done. Yeah. But check him out. John's got his own YouTube channel. Link down in the description. He puts out some killer videos for snakehead, largemouth bass, and all kinds of stuff. Hold on. This is good, dude. Yeah, it was. You can't, you, you caught one of the tastier fish in the Potomac.